Hello everyone and welcome back to the Feminine Touch. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. But if this is not welcome, back my lovely people. So guys, today we are diving into a very, very interesting topic. And that is comparison and jealousy. And as a woman myself, I do know that this is kind of i like to say the toxic side of femininity because as feminine women we tend to compare ourselves a lot and get jealous if another person is prettier or finer or whatever than we are i mean it happens i feel like jealousy is a very natural thing so i'm not like shaming anyone here i do it too but i'm here to really talk about how you can turn that comparison and jealousy into inspiration and actually becoming your best self so if you're interested in this stay tuned so for me personally i feel like as we're growing up we have been compared by i don't know i know that for me sometimes i had my mom compare me to my cousin or my sister like oh see she's getting better grades than you or she's doing this better than you now how come you're not doing this or blah 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 blah, blah. you know so it happens and i feel like from there from as we grow up and we see our parents comparing us, teachers comparing us, even friends comparing us and society in general comparing us because you tend to see different goals that society has created that we need to reach. For instance, it's like, oh, you know, if at 21 you haven't graduated from high school, then there's something wrong with you, you know, or at this age, you should have had this amount of money, this kind of business this number of children you know things like that and especially i feel like now it's kind of ingrained in us so we're just looking at outside people to tell us what we want it's like oh you know at this age i should have had this and i should have done this and i should have done this and had this and it's just like a lot it's like at the end of the day what do you want what do you even want so this is where i talk about the two different kinds of comparison and jealousy that i've realized and the first one is like absolutely hilarious once i tell you which is when you're comparing yourself to something you don't even desire and like i said it's because it's something that has kind of been ingrained in us because like i said as we grow up teachers compare us our parents society and everything we tend to just have that natural you know comparison thing in our brain once you just see someone doing well and you're like oh well i'm not doing well or this is not happening for me or this is you know things like that so you have to really know and that's why the first thing you need to do is know exactly what you want what are your goals what do you want to achieve what are your desires because think about it if for instance i want to be a model right and i'm on tiktok and i'm just scrolling on tiktok and i see this girl who's maybe 22 and she's like this is how i landed my dream job at this fortune 500 company i'm so happy that i'm working here blah 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 i make x amount of dollars and i'm so happy blah 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 and i'm like oh wow see this person who has a dream job and she's doing well and she has this company but then it's like why am i even comparing myself to that because i don't want to work for anyone i don't want a nine to five i don't want to work for any company i want to be a model so why am I comparing myself to the girl who's, you know, has her own job and has what she wants and being sad that I haven't accomplished what she has accomplished when it's not even what I want. So you see how crazy it is. And it's so crazy because I feel like once you realize this, you just realize how unnecessary you have compared yourself to so many people. And it's like, you didn't even need to. Like this jealousy is really not even needed because... You don't even want that. You don't even want the life the person's leaving. You don't want the job. You don't want the kids. You don't even want that. You're just being pressured by society or whoever is pressuring you to get that when you don't even want that, you see? So it's really crazy how we have really just been programmed to start comparing ourselves to things that sometimes we don't even want. So you need to just be really sure of what your goals are and what your desires are before you even start comparing yourself to people. And this is where inner work comes in because if you're doing your inner work and you're trying to be the better, a better version of yourself, you can kind of check that. You can kind of see that, oh, okay, this is not what I want because you're doing your inner work. So you already know what you want you know the kind of life you want to live the kind of woman you want to be the kind of standards you have 
you know, your desires, how you want your life to look like. So you already have that if you're doing your inner work. You know what you want. So you're not going to be distracted and be confused when you see another person who's just doing real well in their own field and comparing yourself to that person when you don't even need to. So first things first, know what you want, do the inner work so you can catch yourself making this unnecessary comparison. And this takes us to the next one, which is when you're comparing yourself and you're being jealous to people who actually already have your desires. So for instance, you're like, oh, you know what? I want to be a model and I want to be a really successful model. And then, you know, you just go in on Instagram and you see this really successful model who is like maybe 16 years old and you're you know like 20 something and then you start being sad like wow look at this girl like i haven't even gotten half the success she has you know she's this big international model all these amazing fashion companies are booking her and i don't even really have so much bookings like that anymore you know things like that and those ones i kind of get because it can really be you know sad i want to say for lack of a better word when you know you're not really getting the success you desire or the things you desire and you see other people getting it it's like oh wow look at me you know and start feeling sad for yourself but now i'm gonna tell you do not feel sad for yourself turn that into inspiration you see that girl who's 16 and then she's a model and she's booking these contracts and she's doing this you start getting inspired and this is why I go back to again to say inner work. If you're doing your inner work, you can realize and be like, oh, wait, okay, this girl is getting it. Instead of you to start comparing yourself and being sad, you turn that into inspiration and you're like, okay, well, she's successful. She's doing this. Watch her interviews. What's her story? What's this girl's story? Go on Google. How did she get to where she was? If she has, if there are interviews of her, you go there, listen to her interviews, you know, be inspired by, by the person instead of being jealous. Be like, okay, well, so this is what she did and she didn't do that and she did this. And you know, what's her work ethic like? Was she always looking for bookings, sending out her pictures to people? Did she create a website or a profile? To make it really professional did she take more pictures on instagram to promote herself more companies will find her and make bookings like what exactly did she do to get where she was you know you start changing your mindset you start rewiring your mindset into okay what has this person done that i'm not doing what can i learn from this person to implement in my life to also get that desire as opposed to oh wow this girl is 16 and she has this oh god when will my when when will mine come you know instead of going to that you you just get inspired you're like okay what has she done what did she do i want to do this okay okay so she did this let me do that too she did this let me do that too you get inspired you, honestly that person now is on your vision board you have that person tagging your vision board because it's like now this is a goal and if she has done it one thing i just love and i can't remember who said that but it's like if someone has done something before you can do it literally have the same brain we just have to start putting in the action and start doing the things that they are doing it's like the one percent for instance the one percent of people who have all the money successful people what are they doing that the non-successful are you start learning nowadays it's so easy because there are podcasts there are a lot of podcast teachers there are a lot of free resources people have to to teach on how to actually be successful and get what you want this is an amazing time to get your desires and get inspired by people because there are a lot of people now with social media that you can see that are doing so many things so it's really time to start seeing these women or these people as our four minute mile and our inspiration as opposed to our competition and our rivals because they're not you're literally here to inspire us if one person has done it before you can do it too you just need to start putting on the action start putting the work and learn from that person you know because you're not even going to allow yourself to learn from that person if you're hating if you're hating on that person you're not even going to see how they have even achieved what you want to you're just going to be hating I'm like oh well um yeah i know she did this well she probably is sleeping with someone to get that or whatever you know and just like spiral and go into whatever you want to say to make yourself feel better but instead of doing that turn it into an inspiration look at that girl and be like wow this is so inspiring how did she do this because i tell you eight times of ten 
these successful people actually want you to know like they want to teach you most of them if you really check it they have like interviews and things where they have said what they did so if you don't want to learn then don't learn but if you want to be inspired and get your own desires too and also be someone else's four minute mile it's time to start changing your perspective and changing your mindset to seeing that person as an inspiration and as a goal as opposed to as a competition because trust me there is only one you there is really no competition to be honest like it's you you just learn from that person add your own flavor to it and who knows you're even going to be bigger than the person or on the same level so my loves my dolls my amazing feminine amazing women or men i'm not really sure if men watch this but whoever you are if you're listening to this just know that you can also get what you want and you just need to start with a mind shift perspective change start looking at that person as an inspiration start learning from those people and stop comparing yourself because there's nothing to even compare to like you're already amazing you just need to tap into that potential that's in you and you already have so my loves we have come to the end of this episode let me know if you enjoyed this really enjoyed talking about this and i don't know if you guys heard from my voice i was really passionate about this because this is something i went through a lot for like a year i guess I was just really so angry and just like jealous of everyone who's getting their goals and not me you know and when I started changing my perspective and just realizing that if one person can do it I can do it too and I need to start learning from this person as opposed to comparing myself things started changing for me so I will love you and leave you here please do not forget to subscribe to the channel like this video and also share and do not forget to have a feminine touch in everything you do. Mwah.